Hi everyone, uh, before we get into the video, I just want to give you the hop date on the, this free moose hunt that I got on the go here. On the, I've, been, I've been promoting for the last oh, several months now. And uh, to all the non-resident, I've got uh, less than, oh it's uh, less than 300 videos left. I wanted to sell 600. And uh, I'm down to, I don't know, two, 260, 270. So you haven't got a lot of chances left. All it is just 20 bucks for a DVD. I'll show you a, a list of DVDs here in a second. And uh, instead of me getting into all the details, because I know everybody's wanting to see the, see the next video that, that I'm showing here, but uh, just send me a, an email at nlmoosant at hotmail.com. And I'll fill you in with all the the little things that you need to know about the contest. So, and I want to also let all the residents know that if you guys got any any friends or relatives that was once a Newfoundland resident, they all call, they also could get in on the hunt. So, twenty bucks be a great uh, great uh, gift, great Christmas gift, I guess you'd say. Chris Christmas is not real far around the corner. So you can buy a, a DVD and every time you buy a DVD, your name goes in the draw for a free hunt here in Newfoundland. So, uh, I mean, there's there's all kinds of Newfoundlanders that's moved away that would love to come back to go moose hunting. But because they're, they've been gone in the province for more than six months, they're not considered a resident anymore. That's that's sad, but it's true. So, uh, yeah, so every every DVD you buy, even, do, even if you already got my videos, to buy a few more and just give them away for a, a Christmas gift, you know. So you could enter the name into the draw for a, a friend or a family member that you know that would love to come back to go moose hunting here in Newfoundland. So, so let's get back to the video. Good morning, everyone. Well, this is going to be a, the first time I've ever filmed moose hunting around a 12. Comments? Oh, That's good. That sounds. Uh, I like that attitude. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Well, this is going to be a, the first time I've ever filmed a moose hunt around a 12. <laughs> we got a bull on the license. There's the mud yonder, and he's assistant right there. See how it turns out, you never know. Next morning, anyway, lots of snow down. Didn't work out. I hope so. I never met Brandon before. All I knew he was from Flirtley, and that he loved his 12 horsepower <laughs> snowmobile. Okay, well, we uh, got a little plan made. See the few moves? There's five, at least five over there inside the hill. Daniel's trying to see them now. It's right over there. We're gonna take your time and walk over. It's only gonna be a gamble. A lot of snow on the trees, that's not gonna help. But it's gonna be quiet, so. We'll take a time and go up through. We've seen at least two bulls there. Give it a try and see what happens. Any comments, Brandon? Hey. Any comments? Hopefully we get one. That's good. That sounds, that sounds uh, I like that attitude. <laughs> this hunt don't last real long. Uh, if there's any such thing as beginner's luck, well, th this is a prime example. Brandon wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, a trophy hunter. He was just looking for something with antlers, just just a meat moose. We had no clue <laughs> what we was going to run into. With all the snow on the trees, of course, we were going to try and figure out the easiest way to get over there. 
So I, I was carrying an axe set. So once we got to this pond or eight of us, I was going to test it and see if there's enough ice in it that we can actually walk the fool into the lake. That way we would save the, the grief of getting snow down our neck all the time. So, And lucky enough there was lots of ice so made it an awful lot easier. Once we got to the shoreline we uh, stuck to the to the whole timber which made it a lot a lot easier walking. The plan was uh, to try and sneak over here and try and spot one either bed it down or just just feeding around here because it was well well after the rut and there was no point trying to call so we uh, we thought we can do it so we just kept getting closer and closer to where we last seen him and all of a sudden one of us looked down through the woods and seen the antlers of one where he was when he was bedded down. I think it's safe to say that this bull was the luckiest bull alive because <laughs> as we were circling him trying to get a better shot uh, deciding how to shoot if we should shoot him bed down or wait till he stood up we were just make it, trying to get a little window for Brandon that could shoot down through the trees and Daniel I think looked down to the right of him and here was the great big bull that bent it down as well. And of course, <laughs> even though he was looking for a meat moose, you know, uh, those, those antlers were just a, was just a turn on for us. <laughs> we couldn't help but uh, get Brandon to shoot the big one. We had no clue how many points, we just knew that he had a beautiful set of antlers and uh, we set up and uh, made sure that we were gonna, in a good spot and was getting ready to make a call. So that when we stood up, Brandon had a real good shot at the bull. I have to commend Brandon here. <coughs> this was, seeing this as his first moose, he put total confidence in me and Daniel and took every bit of advice that we told him and. Uh, just weighed it and uh, kept his cool until he, he had a good shot at the bull. Well, we wouldn't sure if it was a well-placed shot or not. Out of the two shots, two of them was tough because when we rewatched the video, we seen that when the bull stood up, he was standing right behind a tree and the tree was really covering his vitals. So there was a window there, but uh, Brandon had to really, really take his time and put it <laughs> right in the sweet spot. So we waited for a while and uh, took a look at the footage which I'll do now I'll show you again what we were talking about and uh, before we decided to go down and get a better look Brandon Burns, you got a beauty. Yeah, no doubt. Pretty shaky mm. here now. <laughs> He's down, but he's not there. I'm just gonna wait for a bit first, sec. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a nice animal. Perfect. Here comes Brandon. Up to a beauty. Lift those antlers up, Brandon. He gets a chance. Swing on this way. Swing back around now. Oh, 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 count the points, Brandon. Out louder. 11. 
17. Count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 20. 20 points. 20 pointer. <laughs> Wicked. What's the date, December? What? Uh, Gee, I'm not even sure. December the 5th. December the 5th. What a hurly Christmas gift. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good one. Knock the snow off the antlers, boys. I didn't think he was that big. No, me neither. Wicked, wicked. He's a good one. Yeah, he's a big one. Push him down toward me, then. Yeah, there you go. Wicked. Well, I couldn't stick around and uh, help the boys clean this moose and, uh, and bring it out. Even though I really want to, my <laughs> better half figured she had uh, other things that she felt I should be involved with. And uh, probably she was right, but at the time, I didn't think so. And Daniel, Brandon, you'll know what I talk about, <laughs> I'm sure, later on in life. Anyway, it uh, would have been great footage, I'm sure, to watch uh, Brandon drag this big bull out with that 12 horsepower snowmobile he got. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations again, Brandon. It's a, it a great moose you got there, and uh, I'm sure there's memories that none of us is going to forget very quick. <laughs>